Hello folks, we're back to you again for a rather general purpose land yacht update. So let's have a look and see what we've got going on here. So in land yacht land, um, over the last about two weeks or so, we have ourselves a new drivetrain installed in the vehicle. So we have gotten rid of the horrible uh, motor and a very annoying gearbox with its with its uh, destroyed third gear synchro and we have deposited them out here on the general purpose trash heap uh, so this is the motor that we fitted uh, to the car a little over a year ago it is junk this is the gearbox that I paid for, which is also junk. This is what's left of the famous Anova inverter. You can see there there's some goo um, inside the IGBTs that has escaped. They're not supposed to look like that. Which is some also general purpose junk here. So, we got rid of all that installed our old favorite the Siemens 1PV 5135 induction motor and got it in there got it mounted we have a new uh, E39 530D gearbox which is a beast of a thing got, a, got all that in hooked up prop shaft hooked up the whole lot so I did have some footage of this but you know you guys have seen me doing this 50 times do you really need to see me doing it 51 times I decided no and hence deleted all of that footage so too bad now couple pretty big changes going on with the car other than just the new drivetrain stuff so let's have a look here on the floor this is where i seem to work despite having work benches i always seem to have some weird desire to hurt my knees and work on the floor so what, what we've got here for you is the kind of uh frame that we'll be installing in the engine compartment that holds all of the uh bits that we need to make that lovely seams motor run so up the front our high voltage junction box which will be doing some modifications into that like putting in the isa shunt uh up here on the right we have our tesla gen 2 uh 10 kilowatt battery charger uh which will be going back in the car but with uh one of our new stm 32 based um v5 uh logic boards controlling that uh, John Volk and Tom Debris did a lot of work on the software on that recently and it's now uh, charging I believe so now that they've done all the hard work I'm going to capitalize on that and uh, put one of the boards in here and um, get our car charging from the, from the mains with our Tesla charger now over here on the left is something new this is a Toyota Prius uh, third generation inverter converter and uh, if some of you have been following the channel uh, recently, you'll know that I've been doing a lot of work with the Toyota hybrid uh, components, uh, trying to get them uh, to work with uh, custom logic boards and custom controllers uh, in order that we can use these for EV conversions. Now, at the minute, got to do some metal work, make some brackets to fit this. I'm not going to bore you with that. But uh, what I'm going to do is tell you a little bit uh, just about what we're doing with that component and why I think it's, uh, it's fairly important. Now, I have another one on the bench here. This is the actual one that will be going in the car. I've been just doing some testing on it. The one there that you just saw actually picked up locally for 40 euros. So that'll kind of tell you the price point that we're dealing with here. So 
in, sh in short, uh, what we've got here um, is Gen 3 inverter converter. You can get these from eBay for about 150 bucks. Um, inverter to run the motor. DC to DC converter uh, to charge your 12 volt battery. And also, we have the potential now of using the Buck Boost converter in this thing as a, as a battery charger. So, potentially three components in one for very low cost. But there's even more in that the way that uh, the Toyota designed the power electronic stage in these things it's virtually impossible to destroy them you know you can you can tell the igbt's to do all kinds of stupid things and they will just ignore you unlike that stupid anova thing that we saw with its skulls cracked open and the goo pouring out these guys will not pour out their goo at least that i have been able to make happen so this is going to be going back in the car got to do some metal work on that and then we're going to be fitting one of our new uh, logic boards uh, wiring the whole thing up and seeing if we can indeed drive our Siemens motor here uh, with a Toyota Prius inverter converter now as if all of that wasn't enough of a mouthful for you uh, or a mindful or whatever you're supposed to call it. We've got something else going on. Ooh, what's this thing? Is that a petrol tank? I hear you say. Well, in a way, it uh, not only looks like one, but is in a way one. Um, so we've had in the E39 now uh, for, you know, just over eight years these CALB CA180 FI cells. Uh, there's just over the 36 kilowatt hours worth of these. They've been absolute uh, champions. Um, 60 cells total, 192 volts, um, which was originally put in here for the DC system. Uh, but with our Siemens, uh, motor we really want to be up around the tree to 360 volts to get the full power from that so I started looking around and seeing what we could find in line of a battery uh, that we could use uh, that wouldn't cost you know 10 grand um, did a bit of digging about and came across this thing now what this is is a uh, just over a nine kilowatt hour battery uh, from a 2018 BMW 740e hybrid and uh, there's quite a few of these hybrid packs out there now from both BMW and VW um, that are full voltage so you know this is a 360 volt battery you charge it up to nearly 400 volts um, because it's designed for a a hybrid uh, it'll kick out a lot of current how much it can put it can put out I do not know but we will find out and I picked up this entire pack uh, pallet chipped from the UK here to me uh, for 950 euros and that's about the price that they're going for yes if you go on there you can happily spend three or four grand for one but a little bit of negotiation never hurts so we have six of these modules uh, they're about 60 volts each so six of them gives us 360 volts I will do a more in-depth video on this at a later stage um, because this has implications for a lot of the low-cost uh, projects that I'm working on at the minute. But give you guys an idea, uh, this is more than enough to get our car moving. Um, we can then add uh, more of these modules 
uh, to increase range. And this is the beauty of it. What you see here, these six modules are a full voltage, full current pack um, that we can use to get our E49 uh, driving again with its new drivetrain and uh, new inverter. So, yeah, that's um, it's kind of where we're going with this. So, I got a bunch of metal work to do. And my head is melted from yeah, my head's melted from doing electronics this morning. So, you know, I just kind of said to myself, nope, let's just leave that. Let's just go get a grinder get a drill, get a welder, and just cut and burn and drill stuff, because that'll help to clear the cobwebs. At least I hope it does. Um, okay, folks, post credit scene time. Uh, made a bit more progress today than I thought I would. Everything's pretty much mopped up in here now. So we got our high voltage junction box. Got our Tesla charger and our, most importantly, our Toyota Prius inverter. They're all pretty much uh, where they're going to be. Brackets are done, they're just not bolted in at the minute because I've got to take this back out to paint it. Um, but good news here is things like the high voltage junction box and the charger are back broadly where they were in the first iteration of, of this build here. So things will just plug back in. Uh, Got to do some work with the, Got to do some work with the cooling pipes, just not that much, just on the motor and stuff. So yeah, everything kind of fitted in here really well. So I'm very pleased with that. Um, obviously still gonna, you know, take it all out so I can get that front battery box out. There's quite a bit of space in there, I have to say. I'm quite pleased with the amount of space we have going on in there to the point that I reckon with a bit of creative enclosure building in there, it might be possible to put a full, uh, you know, to put a full one of these packs in there. So that's it, folks. A um, little bit of a, a bit of an extra for you. Uh, we got our E39 uh, heading back towards being on the road again. So that's it, folks. I guess really we're uh, we're churning away here. The gimbal is doing its thing. It's you know it's gimbling as I'm trying to keep it focused on, on me. You know right here on the pretty face, please gimbal. So I'll leave you guys there. Uh, we will be back when we have some more. Uh, work done on this project and we can hopefully spin the motor and maybe drive the car I'm gonna cut out you know a lot of the I guess just a lot of the manual stuff I don't really think that it I don't really think that it's something that it made that makes particularly good video um, but I'll come back and we have something interesting to show you so again folks thanks everyone for uh, you know for sticking with me over the the years and the decades <laughs> it's nearly getting to now um i want to thank everyone that supports me you know even if it's just watching a video so uh i leave it there um don't do anything too crazy at least try not to um we'll be back in the next episode do check those links in the description because there's, you know, I put in there as much info as I can on things. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you all next time. And um, until then, happy Prius inverter driving.